Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with here today with an article from, uh, it's a new place, I found this from a, uh, an X account, I don't remember which account, I apologize for that, but it's the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, this is dated, it doesn't have a date on it, but this was just from a few days ago from the time I am recording this, um, so it wasn't that long ago from the time you're going to be hearing it, but this kind of falls in the category for me of, well, 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 what do we have here? And I've made article or made articles. I've uh, made videos that uh, have gone over this. I think like one or two that have said that the um, the Israel Palestine the Gaza uh, death toll numbers are not what they seem, and it's kind of been proven. And I don't remember when the last one that I did. It was probably at this point maybe a month or two ago. Um, and I go and I do have a playlist for the Israel Palestine stuff. So check that out if you're interested. But that previous article or video, I keep saying article because I'm looking at the screen, um, was about <clears throat> just how the uh, the uh, death toll numbers that are coming out of Gaza could not possibly be accurate. And then not long after that, I think I made another video because it came out that the Gaza Health Ministry was like, which by the way is run for, by Hamas, you know, a terrorist organization, but they came out and they're like, oh, we overestimated how many people were actually dead, and they overestimated by like 10,000. So then this article here is going to be adding to that. It says, Gaza Health Ministry cannot provide names for more than 10,000 people, it says, have died. And you think that they might know something about, you know, what happened. But anyway, let's go into this. <clears throat> it says, the Gaza Ministry of Health cannot provide names of more than 10,000 of the 34,000 individuals, it says, have died during the war between Israel and Hamas. So this may actually be a... Uh, Kind of a, an add-on to that previous video I did where they said that, uh, oh wait, we overestimated things. But anyway, let's see what this has to say anyway. It says, while the health ministry conceded earlier this month that it has incomplete data for nearly one-third of the deceased, this is the first admission that it lacks an essential data point necessary to establish these deaths have even taken place. So yeah, I guess it is kind of an add-on to that. So like like the that second sentence there said is that uh, earlier this month it said it had incomplete data. Now it's saying it basically doesn't even have names of these people. <clears throat> so it says the Gaza Health Ministry is an arm of the Hamas-run government in Gaza. <coughs> Excuse me, not cutting that out. So on April 24th, to mark the 200th day of the war Hamas started, the ministry released a graphic in which it reiterated the claim that hostilities have taken more than 34,000 lives, adding that only 24,000 of the dead are martyrs whose identities are recognized. On April 28th, a Wall Street Journal story about the ministry's data confirmed around 10,000 people included in the health ministry's official death toll haven't been verified. And keep in mind, too, the number of lives that they're giving they, they don't differentiate between their their uh, actual like militants and the civilians. So that could be, for all we know, let's just go with the 24,000 number. That could be 24,000 militants. It's not, but I'm just saying like that legitimately could be a thing, could be zero uh, as well. But the odds of that being a, a huge amount of civilians, it seems, is pretty low. And that was what one of the previous uh, videos I did. I almost said articles again, but one of the previous videos, videos I did showed that, that uh, <clears throat> um, what the civilian death toll was compared to the actual like uh, death toll. And it said it was something like 1.3 civilian deaths to one soldier, which is like an excellent ratio. Excellent in, I guess, not in like a yay, you know, sort of way, but excellent in like a way that's not uh, horrifically bad. Because I guess they said like a normal death toll, I think it's in World War II or something like nine civilians to one soldier, um, but this was 1.3 to one. And they said they're, it, it basically this war is like the most careful war in history for civilians not being killed. I mean, so that has to count for something. Anyway, let's get back to it here. Uh, where was I? All right. So we're down here. It says, at the outset of the war, the ministry compiled casualty figures by collecting information from Gaza hospitals, which provided the names of the deceased. When Israeli military operations disrupted the ministry's communication with medical facilities, facilities in Gaza, the ministry began to rely on what it described as reliable media sources for information about possible deaths. The ministry neither identified these sources nor the criteria according to which it assessed the credibility of their information. The proportion of data derived from media sources increased sharply as the war progressed. As of December 31st, the ministry reported 6,629 deaths based on media information, or 30.2% of the total at the time. 
During the first three months of 2024, media sources accounted for an additional 8,441 deaths, or 77.7% of all fatalities reported during the first quarter. Since April 1st, the ministry's statistical digest has to have distinguished between fatality records with complete data as opposed to incomplete data. In effect, the ministry relabeled most records based on reliable media sources as records with incomplete data. It did not provide a reason for the change. On April 21st, 10,152 records had incomplete data. What remains unclear is the degree to which these records are incomplete. An explanatory note in the April 1st digest says incomplete records lack one or more of five basic data points, ID number, full name, sex, date of birth, or date of death. It is now clear the ministry does not have names for these individuals. How much data it does have remains unknown. So essentially at this point, it might as well just say, we don't know how many people have been killed. (laughs) <laughs> we just we legitimately have no idea. There's, there is also data missing from thousands of records the ministry labels as complete. The economist Michael Spagat, Spagat, I don't know, who has consistently defended the ministry's methods, found 3,407 records with errors in, the, in a data set the ministry released at the end of March. These include duplicate records, records with invalid or missing ID numbers, and records that give no age for the deceased. A Spagat, I'm just going to call him that, Uh, found that if no one, if I'm sorry, found that if one looked only at the complete records, then the percentage of women and children drops to 53.3%, as opposed to the 70% or more the ministry has often claimed, although it began to back off that assertion in early April. The Wall Street Journal also noted that the gender breakdown does not support the 70% claim, and that was part of the previous video, almost that article again, uh, that I did as well, uh, went over that too. So again, I'd suggest going to find that so you can see... uh, uh, the article that I had, I was looking at in there, it is linked in that video too. I apologize, I don't remember the name of it, uh, but again, I have that playlist that is the Israel-Palestine conflict, and you can definitely find it in there. Finally, last sentence here, it says, President Joe Biden has cited the ministry's figures on multiple occasions, often without identifying their source. Before citing them again, he should ask the intelligence community to, to evaluate the data's sources and accuracy. Likewise, journalists should press the Gaza Health Ministry to explain the increasing number of inconsistencies in its reports. In the absence of scrutiny, misinformation, and apparent disinformation will pl- proliferate as part of Hamas's efforts to win international sympathy, which they're definitely doing. And you see people out there already uh, screaming about their uh, numbers and everything when it's like they're not accurate. You're just believing whatever you're told. But anyway, I just thought I'd want to go over this and say that this is yet another article from another place saying that these health or a health, the Gaza Ministry of Health numbers um, are not accurate. Okay, I'm sure and probably. Couple, like 20,000 people might have been killed, 24,000 said in there, but we kind of don't really know because you're relying on a terrorist organization to tell you, uh, to give you their information. And the thing that they do is, the thing that they do really well is propagandize. So again, I fall back on, we don't really know what the death toll is. But anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.